Hi everyone. So in this lecture, we'll be studying few properties of fuzzy sets. So there are few properties which fuzzy set follows from crisp set. That is, we can uplift these properties from crisp to fuzzy. And these are say commutativity, distributivity, associativity, de Morgan's law, and few more. But there are few properties like contradiction, law of contradiction, law of excluded middle, which we can't uplift to fuzzy. So we'll discuss these properties also with the help of an example. So first we'll discuss those property of fuzzy set, which it follows diligently from crisp set. So a fuzzy set, let us consider a fuzzy set on a universal set X. And now we are discussing those properties which are there in crisp set and which is followed by the fuzzy set. That is, we can uplift those properties to fuzzy also from crisp. So first is commutativity. Yes. Commutativity is there in crisp and fuzzy set are also commutative. That is, it follows the same thing. That is, A union B is equal to B union A. In order to understand the union and intersection students, you have to see the videos of T norm and T co norm. Similarly, for intersection also, it commutes. Let us move to property number two, associativity. Yes. Just like crisp set, fuzzy set is all, uh, follows this property of associativity. That is A union B union C is equal to. And similarly for intersection also. Right. Coming on to distributivity. Yes, just like crisp set, it follows the same. Fuzzy set follows the same. That is, union distributes over intersection and intersection distributes over union. Okay, solution and yes, it follows. Next is identity. Yes, it has identity. That is A union phi is equal to A and A intersection X is equal to A. Next is de Morgan's law. Very important law. Yes, it follows. That is A union B complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement and A intersection B complement is A complement union B complement. Next is absorption by X. Yes, it follows. That is A union X is x and next is absorption by phi that is a intersection phi is equal to phi yes it follows then comes the general absorption yes it follows that is a union a intersection b is a other way around a intersection a union b is equal to a and next one also it follows that is a union a is a and a intersection a is a so all these properties these these are 10 properties and there are few more also which fuzzy sets follow diligently just like the crisp set there are two properties which fuzzy set unlike the crisp set the these properties which fuzzy set doesn't satisfy so we can write properties of crisp set and these are more important ones. Not satisfied by all fuzzy set. What are these properties? Let us check it out. So you are the first there are two first law of contradiction law of contradiction what does this law says students in crisp set in crisp we know that we know that a intersection a complement is phi and this holds this is true but in fuzzy set this doesn't hold so not satisfied by fuzzy
let us see an example for this let us consider uh, say let x be a set and say it is five points one two three four five let us define a fuzzy set a how many uh, in how many ways can we represent a fuzzy set we had discussed this in the very first lecture if you remember i'm going to the very first lecture where we had defined the representation so this is the representation of fuzzy set yes here yeah. these are the two ways this is the first one this is the second one we are using the first one of way of representing the fuzzy set so i'm writing it at one say it takes value one at Two say it takes value zero point eight. At three it takes value zero point six. At say uh, four it takes value zero point five. And at five it takes value zero point seven. Let us find its complements. We are talking about the standard complement. So here, let me tell you. we are talking about standard complement so standard complement means at 1 it will take value 1 minus 1 so 0 at 2 it will take value since it is 0.8 it, this will be 0.2 at 3 since it is 0.6 this is 0.4 at 4 the complement will take value 0.5 and at 5 since this is 0.7 students so this will take value 0.3 so let us find a intersection a complement what does this means what do we mean by intersection intersection standard intersection means we are taking the minima that is we are taking the minima of membership grade of a and a complement at any point so this will be this will be at 1 it will take minima see we if we see a is taking value 1 and a complement is taking value 0 so minima is 0 second at 2 a is taking value 0.8 and a complement is taking 0.2 so minima is 0.2 second at 3 0.6 0.4 minima is 0.4 Then zero point five, zero point five, it remains same. At four, it remains same. Let us move on to five, zero point seven, and zero point three. So obviously, minimize zero point three. So you can see that a intersection, a closer, which has to be five, as per the crisp set. This is not coming out to be a five. so this is one law law of contradiction which fuzzy set doesn't satisfy so there is another law second law and this law is called law of excluded middle what does this law says if you remember in crisp sets in crisp sets this law always holds that is a union a complement is always x students because if we take say a this and this is x then a union a complement is always x but but if we consider our this example if a is this a complement is this let us find the union let us find a union a complement which is nothing but we are taking the standard uh, union so standard union means maxima of the two membership grades so maxima at 1 we can see the maxima at 1 is 1 at 2 it is 0.8 so 
so I'm writing at 1 it is 1 at 2 it is 0 0.8 similarly at 3 it is 0 0.6 at 4 it is 0 0.5 at 3 it is 0 0.6 at 4 it is 0 0.5 and we are left at 5 at 5 0 0.7 out of 0 0.7 0 0.3 it is maxima that is 0 0.7 so this is a union a complement and we can see that this a union a complement is not the universal set this doesn't hold for fuzzy set so these are the two law which is not satisfied by the fuzzy set. One is law of excluded middle and another is law of contradiction. So what is, uh, what is, what do we mean by this X in uh, fuzzy set students? This means that the membership grade of each element should be one. Is it one here? No. Here it is one, but here it is 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.7. So it's not X. Similarly, what do we mean by phi? What do we mean by phi in fuzzy sets? It means that the membership grade has to be zero, but it is not true for all. This has to be true for all. So these are the two uh, laws which can't be uplifted to fuzzy set theory. Otherwise, we can use rest of the laws as it is because it diligently follows rest of the laws. So if you still have any confusion students, you can write in the comments. And thanks a lot for watching the video.